Weather is getting cooler out there, but that means it's political season. That's right. You're going to go ahead and get a great political app for your phone for all you political junkies out there. But you're looking for something that's probably bipartisan. You're probably looking for something that's free and something that's multi-platform. And that's why we've got Rodney here from Verizon Wireless. Good morning to you, Joe. So we, you found a couple of apps that people could use for this that work on all their platforms of the phones. Tell me a little about Correct. This morning, I have a couple apps to show. I have Election 2012 and Campaign 2012. Okay. Uh, first, I'll start with Election 2012, which is a nice app which aggregates um, news and information from all around the, the political trail. Um, it even has a nice tracker that tells you an update um, in the, when the election is going to occur. You got a nice little countdown clock little right countdown there. Those clock are always here. fun to watch. Also, this particular app on November 5th goes live and starts doing a live video of what's going on with the campaign. It gets you up-to-date information, and it has like a live stream. It also breaks down with um, photos that you can get from the campaign trail, so you can kind of see what's going on while, you know, seeing what's out there with the different candidates and such. Obviously, a lot of vice presidential stuff at the debate last night, but, I mean, it does go ahead. And what's really great is you can pick anywhere in the United States. Correct. It picks it. Right now, we've got it randomly chosen on, uh, on Hawaii was one of them, but they have all these different areas, and it seems to be divided by state. Correct, and it breaks it down to state politics, so you can dig down a little deeper beyond just the vice presidential, presidential race. You can go into the local level issues and get more information and get yourself more informed on what's going on out there in your local area. Awesome. So what, what's our second option if we want to have two apps that we're going to go ahead and Okay. take a look at. The second app is election 20. I'm sorry, the second app is campaign 2012. And this one's more social based. Um, this particular application will take information, news headlines, and you can share it um, to your different feeds, whether it be your Twitter, your Facebook. So if you have a story that happens to be um, a good story and you want to share it with friends or family, you can click on that particular link and share that to anyone, regardless of which social feed you're using. So I can hit the little share button here and be able to share it directly to anyone that's on my social networks. And I, I just really like the layout of the way this one is, too. It looks like it's, it's really, really good for your eyes, and you're able to follow everything that you want to go ahead and see, right. too. It's, it's, it's designed very well. This one is a three-star app. Um, it's um, a, a fairly popular and fairly new app in the App Store. It's available for your Verizon Wireless Android or iOS device, and it's a free app. Oh, free is always the best when it comes to all of our apps. And then, of course, one of the best free apps out there that you can get is the WNWO app. That's right, if you want local politics covered, that's probably where you want to go for these. Rodney, thanks for coming in, showing these two. Election 2012 Election. and Campaign 2012. Correct. Those are the two ones right there. But, of course, if you want your local content, always head to the App Store, search WNWO for all of our local apps.